uh, I want to ask you about Spencer Rattler and, yeah. and he's really <clears throat> hit a new level in his career since he's been here. What have you seen from him? What's maybe uh, that's gone into him making those strides and, yeah. and, you know, getting to the point where he is now. Yeah. You know, I'll go back to Spencer and I were together at Oklahoma yeah. for, uh, for a couple of years, I guess Spencer's freshman year, he was behind Jalen hurts mm -hmm. and uh, we won a big 12 championship. He got to see Jalen Hurts come in from Alabama and transfer in and how he handled that situation. And then people forget that early in Spencer's career as the starting quarterback at Oklahoma, he dealt with some adversity. Yeah. Like he started out, we started out 0-2 in the Big 12 mm -hmm. in 2020 with Spencer as our starting quarterback. And that doesn't happen at Oklahoma. You're not yeah. supposed to lose a conference game, much less back-to-back -to, -back to start the year. And we lost to uh, Kansas State at home, mm -hmm. and then we lost to Iowa State on the road. Yeah. And then we play Texas in Dallas, and Coach Riley takes him out of the game in the first half because he wasn't playing well. Mm -hmm. He puts him back in in the second half. We beat Texas, I think, in four overtimes, don't lose a game the rest of the year, Win the Big Twelve, uh, Florida or uh, beat Florida in the Cotton Bowl. Spencer's preseason Heisman, mm -hmm. preseason number one pick, all this stuff, and then uh, twenty twenty one doesn't go the way that he wants it to go. So he had dealt with adversity before, mm -hmm. and I knew him as a person. So I knew what we were getting when we brought him in here, and that's what I've seen: uh, a guy that's dealt with adversity before and and got, uh, uh, was became stronger because of it. A guy that is a uh, really good teammate um, and a super talented guy that's a great person, first and foremost, comes from a great family. And I think the biggest thing I've seen with him that's grown is just his comfort level here, his confidence in what we're doing, confidence in himself has continued to grow. And um, and then just leadership, you know, I really feel like last year at this time, he hadn't played a game at South Carolina and he was yeah. still learning what was going on and learning his teammates. And now I think he's very – uh, he, he's very comfortable. He's very confident. His leadership skills have grown. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see what he does in 20, 2023. And, and he took a lot. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but he took a lot of, you know, crap. You know this. When you, yeah. when you don't play well, the head coach, the offensive coordinator, and the quarterback get the brunt of the criticism. <laughs> and he'll be the first to tell you he didn't play great at all times last year. But, <clears throat> but he also – when people talk about Spencer Rattle or struggling, well, he was struggling while he was technical while he was struggling while he was leading us to South Carolina's first win ever over Texas A and M, South Carolina's first win over Kentucky, uh, up in Lexington in like ten years. So we accomplished a lot before all of a sudden he really started playing great there at the end of the season. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Is I, I feel like with Spencer, for whatever reason, there was somewhat of a negative connotation around him as a quarterback when he left Oklahoma, mm -hmm. but I. Do you feel like that's shifted a lot? And is that <clears throat> in, it sounds like you've seen very different from that from from what people were saying about him when, when he when Yeah, he left I think um I think some people maybe came up with the negative connotation because of the uh whatever show he did on Netflix yeah. or whatever it was when he was <laughs> in high school, which I've never watched. Yeah. But if you did a show on me as a 16 or 17 year old, I'd probably look like good. a complete idiot. <laughs> uh, so I've never watched it. And if yeah. anybody's basing an opinion of Spencer Rattler off that TV show, then, then that God help you. Cause a show <laughs> can make you look any way they want you to look. I saw the kind of teammate in person uh, Spencer was at Oklahoma. So I knew that. And, you know, he took criticism, which I wasn't in Norman that season, but, I don't understand it. I mean, one, when he got benched, and again, I don't know what in, what, what went into the decision to to bench him for uh, for Caleb Williams, but he was undefeated as a quarterback that season, and he got benched during the Texas game where the punt team got a punt blocked by yeah. Texas that day. The defense at Oklahoma couldn't stop anybody that day. I've I've watched the replay of the game, and he didn't play great. And I get it. Lincoln put him in the game to kind of give the team a spark, and Caleb played great, and they stayed with it. And and the rest is history with yeah. Caleb and whatnot. But it wasn't like Spencer had gone out there that day against Texas, and they had a bad team going into the game. They were undefeated and ranked in the top five, <laughs> yeah. and the team didn't play that great that day. But when you're the quarterback, sometimes the head coach feels like he's got to make a change, and and he did. But I only watched um I only watched 
a little bit of uh, Oklahoma on television after that day, mm -hmm. but I don't think he necessarily became a bad teammate after he lost his job. From what <laughs> I saw, he continued to be yeah. supportive of Caleb and and uh, and handle things uh, with class. And I talked to people at Oklahoma before we brought him out here about that were in the program about Spencer, mm -hmm. and um, and no one had a negative thing to say. It was all positive about the way he handled things. And and I know he still hears from people at Oklahoma, and I still hear from people at Oklahoma that you know, reach out to me that are pulling for him out here.